original cold markings, Cerakote body, Daniel Defense license handguard, a powerful recoil, the Tokyo Marui set system, and much more. This is the Tokyo Marui Mark 18 Mod 1 GBB. Here in front of me, I have the Tokyo Marui Mark 18 Mod 1 GBB. This is a replica based on the CQBR variant of the world famous M4A1 carbine, which is a platform that has been developed to make a more compact firearm that can be used in situations where you have little room to move, such as in and around vehicles and confined spaces. Think of scenarios such as personal security, urban warfare and other forms of CQB situations. A further development within this CQBR platform has resulted in the Mark 18 Mod 1, which uses a free-floating 10.3 inch barrel, a full-length Picatinny handguard and a compact gas block that does not contain an integrated front sight, as its predecessor did have. But enough background information on the real firearm. It's time to see how Tokyo Marui has translated this into the airsoft world. Start with the box. As you can see here, this replica is neatly packaged in a beautiful designed box. Many airsofters will not pay much attention to this, but for collectors this can be a plus. When we take off the top cover, the replica and the gas magazine finally appear. Neatly held in place by these velcro fasteners and the molded styrofoam that is located in the lid of the box. In addition to the replica, what is even more striking in the box is this smaller cardboard box containing a small bag with BBs. Unfortunately, it is not indicated what weight they are and whether they are biodegradable. In this box, you will also find a handy tool with which the front side can be adjusted and a red cap for the barrel. In addition, we also find the manual of the replica inside the box. And what is also handy and relatively well hidden, a simple speed loader. So now that we covered the least interesting part, let's focus on what really matters, the replica. To start with the externals. At a glance you can see that this replica is equipped with a bronze handguard and a tan color polymer stock. What may not be immediately clear is that the upper and lower receiver are provided with a Cerakote coating. For viewers who don't know what this is, Cerakote is a coating that can also be found on real firearms. This coating ensures, among other things, that the replica becomes corrosion resistant, wear resistant and chemically resistant. As a result, this Mark 18 has an extremely good protection, so you don't have to worry about damaging it while playing. Of course, it is always advisable to maintain some degree of caution when handling an airsoft replica. But back to the coating, which not only ensures that it's well protected, but also that it looks like a real firearm. We also find a number of engraved markings on the lower receiver. On this side there are real cold markings and on the other side we see engravings of Tokyo Marui. In addition, both sides contain the different positions of the fire selector engraved in the body. When the fire selector moves, it's also indicated on the opposite side. This way you can easily see on both sides which function the replica is on. At the end of the receiver is an end plate with three options for mounting a gunsling. This can be combined with the gunsling mount which is mounted on the handguard. This Picatinny mounted sling mount is easy to move by means of two Allen screws. If we then look a bit further back on the replica, there's a tan colored crane stock here. This is made of polymer and includes a rubber shoulder pad to provide some extra comfort while shooting. Like any other crane stock, this one is easy to adjust. To stay with polymer parts for a moment, the pistol grip. This is a fairly standard polymer pistol grip with texture that helps it stay firm in the hand and also offers a finger stop that keeps your hand in the same spot on the grip at all times. Then we move on to the front where the handguard can be found. This bronzed handguard offers a full-length Picatinny rail on all four of the sides. There are markings on all of these Picatinny segments, making it easy to reassemble accessories and aiming devices. These markings can also be found on the Picatinny rail located on the upper receiver. So this way you can always quickly and easily find the location where you previously mounted something. The handguard, as already mentioned, contains Daniel Defense and Tokyo Marui markings, which complement the look and realism of this airsoft replica. At the end of the outer barrel is a steel flash hider, where underneath we find a 14mm 
counterclockwise screw thread on which you can mount a tracer unit, suppressor or any other accessories that you want to place here. What can be found further on the outside are the front and rear flip-up sides. The rear side can be adjusted laterally, also known as windage, and the front side in height, better known as elevation. Now that we've pretty much covered all of the interesting parts that we can see from the outside, it's time to look at the workings and the internals of this Tokyo Marine Mark 18 Mod 1 gas blowback. What makes this replica special compared to other GBB airsoft guns is the set system from Tokyo Marui. This may seem less realistic compared to, for example, gas replicas from GHK, which want to have as many parts as possible similar to real firearms. But the set system has been specially developed to offer, in addition to realistic feeling, an extremely durable system that is very efficient when it comes to gas consumption. To start with what makes this system so durable, we find several bearings at the trigger group and the bolt. These ensure that there is a little friction between those parts, so that they rub against each other less. To show that this system does what it says, during the testing phase of developing the system, Tokyo Marui has demonstrated through a stress test that the bolt can handle more than 10,000 rounds and still locks back as soon as the last BB has left the magazine. In addition, all internal parts are reinforced and well attached so that they do not vibrate loose due to the recoil, something that can sometimes occur with other GBB replicas. Due to a combination of a special buffer spring and a plastic buffer, the replica needs less gas to complete a full cycle so that a magazine can be used for longer. Our experience has shown that, provided the temperatures are right, we could refill and empty the BBs inside the magazine about two to three times before the magazine ran out of gas. This may differ for other players due to ambient temperature and other conditions. When we take a closer look at the bolt, we see a plastic nozzle. This gives a less realistic sound when the bolt is moved forward, but it does provide a better air seal. This also makes this replica extremely economical when it comes to gas consumption. The hop-up of this Tokyo Marui Mark 18 can be found in the upper receiver and can be easily adjusted using this wheel. It's sometimes a bit difficult to get to this, but it saves a lot that this hop-up can be adjusted without needing extra tools. By the way, another fun fact, just like real M4 firearms, this airsoft replica has a working forward assist. So, if it happens that the BB is not completely pressed into place and the bolt does not connect completely, then you can fix that with this part, just like in real life. However, it's recommended to first check why the replica had a malfunction, so you don't cause any unnecessary damage. Okay, back to the system. As we've just mentioned, this replica is extremely economical when it comes to gas consumption. This gas is supplied by the included Tokyo Marie MWS magazine, which has a weight equivalent to a real magazine loaded with a full load of cartridges. You can easily fill the gas using the filling valve located at the bottom. If you'd like to know more about different gas types within Airsoft, you can watch this video on our channel. To load BBs into the magazine, we recommend using a speed loader with a GBB attachment. You can use this button on the back of the magazine to depress the follower spring slightly, after which the BBs can be loaded without too much effort. This magazine offers a capacity of 35 BBs, and when the last BB in the magazine is shot, the bolt locks back. Once you've loaded a new magazine, you can simply press the bolt release and the bolt will shoot forward again, loading the first BB immediately. Just like in real life. The recoil of the Tokyo Marui Mark 18 Mod 1 GBB is well felt, perhaps less compared to other gas replicas such as the Umarex HK416A5, but is therefore more economical with its gas. If you want to make this recoil less or stronger, there are other buffers available from Lalex, GMP and ProWin and other brands for your specific requirements. As most people are used to from Tokyo Marui, all parts are extremely well coordinated and tuned to each other, resulting in a replica with a very high consistency. You will probably also notice that you even get good performance with a relatively low FPS or Joule output. All in all, we have before us an extremely attractive replica that has been finished in detail on the outside with a well-functioning and consistent inside that offers a realistic feel. If you want to hold and test this replica for yourself, visit our store. Our employees can also help you out with any questions you may have about Airsoft. If you want to know more about this replica, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.